hello everyone and welcome back um yeah today i just wanted to have like a little sit down chat with you guys i mean i had plans to and still hope to record some reaction videos i just don't have any motivation not gonna lie like every time i go to try to do it something that like stops me from doing it and it's really hard because i do like them but it's i just don't know what it is and it's very like frustrating at times so i thought why not try and do like a sit down video beforehand so then i've got into the kind of rhythm of filming again and then i can do them again like get back into them so i don't actually think i spoke about it on the channel actually but um i know that you music fans out there if any of you watch this video will maybe be excited because i'm excited about it me and Greg are actually going to see Bring Me The Horizon in September if it still goes ahead and I'm really really excited about it because although I stopped listening to Bring Me The Horizon for a while but I got back into them. No, I haven't. don't listen to them as much as I used to as like a teenager. Like they're also touring with You Me At Six and those were the two bands I used to listen to all the time growing up and like my teenage self was like freaking out because I noticed that they were going on sale like they were going on tour and it was going on sale and Greg was like oh we should try go and I was like okay but Greg completely forgot all about it so I just bought us some I was like we're going he was like oh my god and we actually have really good seats too um I'll like put it up here somewhere maybe unless that's not safe to do that then I don't know but I'll they're actually quite near the front like they're pretty decent because I got there as soon as tickets went on sale and I was like I can't believe it's happening like I'm gonna freak out I hope it goes ahead in September but I wouldn't be mad if they rescheduled it either like it is a bit oh man like they rescheduled it again but like I mean not with this one but I mean like with concerts because of Covid having to be rescheduled um it's been a, it's a bit of a yeah no it's not a great feeling but at the same time it's understandable like you want to be safe going there and it's better that everyone's safe plus especially for bands because i also saw this um tweet that made so much sense that i actually hadn't thought about before like it's really really not safe for bands to tour at all really because if you think about it there's all these people like obviously so they have the drummer the lead singer the guitarist the bassist like you have them like all their um backstage crew then you have like everyone else like the like everyone that's important to tour in is going to be there and they're all like crammed into a tour bus and they're all from different households as well and then it's like obviously they'll be in the, each other's bubble for touring but it's like if one of them catches covid like that becomes tricky because it's like well they then have to isolate but then the others don't seem to have to self-isolate so it's like a whole thing and that tweet really made me think a lot and i was like okay that's a fair point i hadn't actually thought about that and that makes more sense as to why tours have been cancelled a lot as well because it's really difficult because then obviously the person who's caught covid has to self-isolate for 10 days and then that like could mess up the whole tour and that's not what you want so yeah um i can't believe i haven't actually spoke about that but i didn't really know how to go about that to be honest because obviously i can't be like guess what guys i'm gonna see bring me the horizon and you me at six there is another band but i completely forgot the name of them which i feel so bad about um but yes um i can't believe i've not spoke about it but it is difficult when you're trying to react to someone else and you're like oh my god i want to see by the horizon like that's quite disrespectful to the other band being like oh my god i'm going to see such and such but i was thinking i don't know if it would be interesting for anyone but i was thinking of whenever it goes ahead doing like a vlog type review of the concert if you know what i mean like kind of showing like leading up to the concert like in the concert like showing not their whole set because i don't think i have enough storage for that plus i used to be that type of person who used to love recording the whole set and like all the songs but i'm really not like that now like i'll take a couple of videos and then I'll probably be sad about it later that I've not taken like whole videos, but I really prefer being in the moment. Like I do like to take, especially if it's a favourite song, like I'll take as long a video as I have to. <laughs> um, but I do like to try be in the moment more than just like recording and like looking at it through my phone. Although one time I went to go see Willem, the drag queen live, and there was these really tall people standing in front of me who's like five foot five. It's not like the tallest 
I'm quite short and it's like hello so I actually had to use my phone to be able to actually see what was going on and it was so horrible but it was so good like and plus Willem is so tall like so tall especially when he wears heels like I actually looked like an ant right next to him like picture proof will be here and I don't know what it is but every time I get a meet and greet photo I look like trash and it's probably because I get so excited to do this thing where I smile and my face starts to look weird and I'm like we don't need to smile like that like just smile normally <laughs> because like when I'm sleeping with sirens for the first time I will put the, these photos up because these are like I don't care like I will embarrass myself now like I'm at that point in life now where I don't care <laughs> y'all can laugh at it maybe don't be harsh but you know you can all have a little laugh and I know it's common though because you get excited and it's like they might not have the best lighting around and then you're like and it's like okay well that wasn't cute was it you know what I'm saying <laughs> and it's it's always worse though when you like it's always bad as well when you go to you see the artist out afterwards and you get a picture and you're literal sweat and your makeup is like dripping off your face because that happened the last time I met Matty Mullins, oh my god, that picture will haunt me for the rest of my life because I looked like actual trash. Like you could have taken me to the dump. It was awful because um walkways, oh my god, that is a band that is like if you've not heard of walkways, get on that right now. Their link will be in the description and you shall a hundred percent get on that because oh my god. I, they came on and like they just had this vibe and I was like oh I'm vibing with this whatever they've got like they just came on and like their presence was just so like good like I don't know how to describe it like they were so vibey and like the music was amazing and it was so like it's still so surreal like I think about it all the time and it just always makes me feel so surreal because like I made eye contact with a few of the members and because I was like, like, whoa, like rocking out and like there was a lot because a lot of people don't really hype up support bands and it always makes me so sad. Like the support acts need the love and support too. This was before I'd done reaction videos. So I was like, oh my God, I love this band. I was like, yeah, I'm not, I'm a fan now. I was like, yeah, we love that. And then I ended up getting one of the guitarist picks and I was like, oh my God, that's always so amazing. Should I get my, mm, I don't know, is that weird? I was gonna be like, I'll show you guys my guitar pick collection from concerts, but I don't know, that might be a little bit weird. Or is it? I don't know. If you would like to see the collection that I have, please let me know and I will, you know, find a way to show you. Um, Cause I have this little box, like I got John, I used to be obsessed with John Green and obviously got a collection of his books. So I used that for like all my concert tickets and like, guitar picks like meet and greet things like all of that is in that box like it's wild like I'm running out of space I really need to get like a new one like something that's like better for that but um yeah walkways they were so good and because I was getting so into it and like I was actually dripping a sweat before Memphis before I came in even came on I can't even talk um like they were so so lovely like I went and met them was it at the end? Yeah, it was at the end. I went to meet them because I was like, we were right at the front um, of the garage, but it was like the smaller room of the garage with that really awkward pole. I wonder if I can find a photo of that. If I can't, I'll put it somewhere and copyright the people who own that picture, which is obviously them. But oh, it's so annoying that little venue. Like it's okay, but they have this random like structural, structural kind of pole thing. And like, the members always have to like go round it or like kind of position it more to like the other side and it's like that must be so annoying like I remember seeing set off there and Cody would always just hold on to it I mean I suppose it's good if like members are getting tired and they want to like hold on to something like I'm gonna pass out whatever um but yeah um and yeah but because like obviously and then Memphis came on and I was like freaking out I was like oh my god oh my god oh my god as you can tell so if you see my other reaction videos like I'm a huge Memphis Mayfair fan I was like freaking out and I was like oh my god oh my god like <laughs> and I was like screaming and then me and Corey kept making eye contact and he was smiling because I was like rocking out and I was like oh my god he just looked into my eyes and it was one of those awkward kind of things like well not awkward it wasn't awkward but it's like one of those like things where you're like oh my god like see I'm getting too excited now I'm talking really fast I need to slow down <sighs> but yeah I don't even know what this video is anymore I kind of just thought this might help me get back into recording reaction videos so let's talk about bands and bands experiences like why not like let's have it 
So yeah, anyway, the moral of the story, I sometimes do that, it's so bad where I get distracted and go from point to point and then I eventually get back to the main point, which was, and then obviously they came on, obviously Love Memphis Mayfire, we're jumping about and then obviously it's a small venue, still can't believe they're playing in small venues in Scotland, like this should not be a thing, but it was a smaller venue than like the main garage part of the venue and um, it's at the front and I have a fear, like I want to get over it of mosh pits, like I really want to get involved, but I just have a lot of anxiety about it. And one practically started right next to me and I got shoved and shoved and shoved into the front of the stage. And I was literally crying because I hurt my ribs. I was in agony, I was like, this is why I don't like mosh pits. But this was, I wasn't in one, this was kind of like the effect of one happening really close to the front and I just kept getting shoved. But anyway, more back to the point of the story was by all the time that happened and me then trying not to pass out because I'd already used all my energy for them and all that, like literally I could feel the sweat in my hair, my makeup looked ridiculous, I had to put a black and white filter over it, which made it look worse actually. I'll put it up here, oh my god it looks awful. But then throw back to when I actually met him the first time I actually looked half decent. So, and I'll show you the first time I met Sleeping With Sirens. And then the second time I met Sleeping With Sirens, the meet and greet pictures are a lot different. I didn't look as bad in the second one. But I think it's because I was so, like, with Sleeping With Sirens, that concert that I first met them at, they kept telling me, you're not allowed to, you won't be able to go because you're, like, your health's really bad. Like, your heart rate's not, like, the right way we need it. Like, you're not keeping up with your meal plan, blah, blah, blah. Um, and... I worked my ass off to get there. Like, I was like, I'm I'm going. Because I kept, this is really, I don't know, this might sound sad to people, but I was literally like, I will meet Helen. I will meet Sleeping With Sirens one day. I will meet them one day. And I would just envision it so much. It helped me get through recovery as well as Memphis. And I was just like, it's going to happen. And then when it, they were going to take it away from me, I was like, no, 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 not happening. Then I met them. I was overwhelmed. I was like, what the frick is going on? And I just literally, I couldn't even talk. I was so like flabbergasted. I don't know if that's a word. Anyway, yeah, I was just so like overwhelmed because it actually had happened. I literally just, and then I tripped down the stairs pretty much almost. And I had fluff from the bl the new blanket I bought on my black jeans, fluff everywhere. I had to throw the blanket to the side, quickly go in. Jack's been like, don't fall down the stairs. And I'm like, oh my God, Jack just spoke to me. I'm trying not to trip, shaking. I'm like, oh my God, I love you guys so much. I love you guys so much. I just gave them a quick hug and then took a picture and then left. And I was so sad because I was like, I didn't talk to them. I didn't talk to them enough. Why did I not talk to them enough? But I made up for it when I met them, not, well, 2019, in, like, in December, because I think I annoyed them a little bit because I was just talking away and I was like, do you want to see my sirens tattoo? Like, don't worry, I'm not going to flash you a boob. Like, it's on my rib cage. <laughs> and then they were, like, all laughing and then Nick was joking with me about um, Justin not going to be, like, having to leave. And I was like, him, don't joke about that. Mm -mm. And it was funny, but I think it's because, like, it's on a self-reflective note. I know this video is a bit of chaos. Like my last video was chaos and don't really know what the purpose of this is, but you know. <laughs> um, is that like, although COVID and like the first lockdown was so difficult for me, like I really struggled to adapt to it, not being able to see Greg, not being able to do much. Like I needed that routine and like establish something. But I was really fortunate in a way and this might sound weird because this pandemic has actually given me a lot of time to self-reflect and grow and to find more self-love. And that might sound a bit cliche or cringy, but it's true. Like if it, w <sighs> COVID sucks. It really does suck. But I don't know if the first lockdown hadn't happened I think I would still be suffering with mind disorder 100% because like I wasn't fully like struggling with it but if I couldn't cope with something I would just fall back the way like I just constantly fall back on behaviors that weren't okay but with a pandemic it really allowed me to focus on not really worrying or like putting on my focus on what I look like if you know what I mean well as you can tell like I don't really wear makeup anymore 
like I used to wear makeup all the time like every single day because I got made to feel like I had to when I was going in high school because I don't wear makeup then either um I used to wear it every single day because I was so insecure blah 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 like and then I used to constantly worry about like how much I like what I looked like and um, how much I weighed blah 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 and the pandemic with the lockdowns and stuff has really kind of helped me work on that and I can fully say since the first lockdown I would say that I'm a hundred percent like fully a hundred percent the way they are of being recovered and not acting on behaviours there is obviously it's never gonna fully go away there are always sometimes that little niggle that's like hello like remember me and I'm like fuck off <laughs> it's like not not today not happening bye bye see you later you've ruined my life goodbye <laughs> you know what I mean like and I think it was on the process of I saw I can't remember was it on Instagram there was this like little card thing and it was just about like you know showcasing what pop toxic pos my friend done that thing again where it was trying to merge the two words <laughs> about toxic positivity and like how you do it to yourself so I kept trying to like basically what I was doing was like I, if I was like looking in the mirror and a negative thought would pop up and it's like oh um oh you look a bit rubbish today or more I don't really want to spread negativity but you know like really like self-depreciating thoughts like oh you look ugly today or oh you look you look like you've gained weight or whatever I would try and look at it and be like okay this isn't true this also isn't true and if I have gained weight what does it matter all that matters is that I'm healthy I'm happy and you know like I'm living my best life so I'd kind to like rewire my brain and how it looks at things so now instead of being like oh like I look like this today or whatever like I have to get my eyebrows done and usually when they're not done I'm like oh I look so ugly like I'm such a mess I'm like no I just need to get my eyebrows done and we'll be fine like just retraining that whole thought process has really changed my whole outlook on things and my friend Shannon she's actually come back to YouTube which I'm so happy about she actually spoke about her own self-love journey and had like a whole video explaining on that which you should go check out which I will put up here and the link will be in the description because I'm so glad that she is back on YouTube um I know this video was really long and I'm really sorry I will try pardon me to wrap it up ASAP but um yes um it definitely has helped with realizing my worth I guess and I haven't been comparing myself to other people either which was so so hard for me because I'd always be like well they're skinnier than me or they have nicer hair than me or they look so good with makeup on than me or something like that like I'd always compare something and always try to find the negative within myself but I've actually limited my use of social media a lot and it's really really helped like I don't really use Instagram and if I do like it doesn't affect me as much as it used to because when I used to scroll through Instagram it got to the point where I actually was like oh maybe I should get lip fillers because my top lip's quite small and you know like that's what people consider to be beautiful and I never thought of that before until like the last year or so and I was like no I was like they might be small but I don't want to personally I just don't think that I would be someone who would be good to have plastic surgery like I don't have anything against anyone who gets it because it's their body their choice it's up to them but I feel like because of my past with being quite obsessive and like controlling of my appearance I feel like that's a very slippy slope to go on and I really don't want to do it and then regret doing something that's not going to work out. Like I hated my nose, like hated it because I'm like, it's so big, like, oh my God. And that's why I would get a nose piercing and it closed up again and it's so sad. Um, but I'm like, you know what? This is the, the nose I was born with. Like, I feel like if I was to try and change it, it would look odd because it's not in proportion with my face, if you know what I mean. 
so yeah like it's been a lot like because it is really hard like because i've been trying to love myself since 2013 so it's been a long journey and it's really interesting and confusing that a whole pandemic is what it took for me to really focus on that and you know sometimes that's okay like if it takes a long time as long as you find what works for you and helps you be okay with the person you are because at the end of the day the person you are is who you've got to deal with for the rest of your life so you kind of have to find a way to like be okay with your own company and love who you are um so yeah and I think I think as well with the ongoing health issues that I've been having and figuring out what's going on with me um which there'll be a vlog about I don't know which video is going to go out first but you'll find out um I think that made me take a stop made me stop and realize how much my body has been through you know with my eating disorder me being like self the self-loathing the like the self-hatred um because I used to self-harm like I put my body through a lot and I took a moment to just be like we've we've put this through a lot like we really need to appreciate the work that it's doing here like you know it's doing its best like it's really trying to be there for you you know what I mean like your body's always trying to work its best and support you and it kind of like made me appreciate the second chance of life that I got because there would have been there was a chance that I was never not going to be here um and so it made me also realize that you know I didn't get a second chance at life to be like to be measurable like you know I got the second chance at life to actually love myself and be healthy and happy and to not take no s from no one and now any because I used to I'm quite a sensitive person right like if someone cries or gets emotional like I'll get upset um like I'm quite an empathetic person um and I can be quite sensitive to other things too but I feel like realizing you know I didn't get the second chance at life to just take people's bs if you know what I mean like it just it just wouldn't be right for me to have the second chance at life and mess it up or make the same decisions so I'm rambling on this is like two random videos like conversion to one but if it's helpful and entertaining well the first part of it was entertaining um then that's good um I was so open active recorded I was so unwell last week it wasn't covid I was tested negative I was so unwell and I just couldn't record at all and then I managed to get that video out but I was like the rest of the week it's like I'd done it at the wrong point and I just got so unwell again <laughs> like I still got more unwell it was not good but I'm doing better now and there's a lot of things happening I've got this vlog part one coming out soon and then part two will be getting recorded soon um so there's a lot happening and I just really need to sit down and like plan things a bit more because this is such a random video um but yeah like I'm just trying to figure out what content I want to do um especially when I suffer a lot with like migraines sometimes still and stuff so I, I'm trying to find the balance of what works so this is kind of like an adjustment of trying to figure out and hopefully from this video we'll have get got some reactions recorded but I hope you enjoyed this really random video and if you got this far thank you so much I really appreciate it it means so much when people watch all the way through and yeah thank you guys I appreciate you all so much and I'll see you guys soon Bye.